Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, we got another data download on Global. Of course, a big shout out to Air Dokkan on Twitter for posting all the assets. And I believe this data download was roughly 110 megabytes, so not too big. But uh, there are some pretty interesting things that we learned. So without further ado, let's jump right in and uh, check it out together. Okay, so... Uh, scrolling down to the bottom here, the first thing that we got was the Extreme Z Awakening Medal for the uh, 1000 Login Days Spirit Bomb Goku. And of course this medal is to Extreme Z Awaken, the free to play LR. But before you get too excited, um, you gotta keep in mind, just a quick reminder, that you only get these medals for logging in for a grand total of 2000 days. So 2000 cumulative login days are required to get these Extreme Z Awakening medals to Extreme Z Awaken the 1000 day LR Spirit Bomb Goku. So unfortunately what that means is that most people watching this video won't be seeing this for a very long time. Even for myself, right? I've been playing for a while, but I probably won't be getting these until um, I would say in about like 500 days, so about a year and a half in the future. Super excited for it, but uh, not really you know, thinking about it at this point in time. Uh, from there, we have some uh, tickets. So the first one is the Christmas Summon Ticket, and the second one is the Premium Christmas Ticket. So what I'm thinking is that these are related to the Tanabata banner that we've been talking about for a while. That, uh, of course, features the LR Blue Fusions, the LR Blue Boys, LR Go Bros, and also a bunch of other uh, Dokkan Fest SSRs. So this banner should be dropping uh, I believe on Christmas because that's when part two starts, but it could be like the day after possibly, but around Christmas time, we'll get this banner and these tickets should be uh, for that banner. And these will probably be free to play. I'm guessing that maybe through some missions, we'll be, we'll be able to get like maybe five to 10 of them or something like that. And then these ones should be the paid ones from the Pilafs Trove. Okay, so two different Christmas tickets, most likely for the Tanabata banner. And we also have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Prime Battle. LR Super Saiyan Goku, his Extreme Z area event will be finally available on Christmas. So for people that uh, were able to, you know, farm in Extreme Z Awaken and Rainbow, all the required units, we can finally challenge the event, get these medals, and Extreme Z Awaken our uh, Super Saiyan Goku. And from there, we're getting a new world tournament on Global. Now this is not starting on Christmas. I believe it's actually gonna be a week after on the first. So basically New Year's Day is when the world tournament is dropping. Not really sure how to feel about that, like bring in the new year with a world tournament. I mean, on the one hand, it's content and I've really wanted another world, another world tournament for a while, right? Just something to grind. But at the same time, world tournaments are pretty lame let's be honest i mean the the event itself is lame right like they need to change it up somehow they need to just give us something different right because like we've been through almost 40 world tournaments at this point and the formula has essentially stayed the same the entire time so yeah not really sure how to feel about it i'm happy there's a tournament i'm also kind of not happy that you know on the first day of the new year 2021 i'm gonna be grinding a world tournament you know so uh, anyways that's happening and uh, here are a few promo pictures for the different banners and uh, here's also a little promo for the uh, new world tournament reward which is gonna be a kid Kohan okay so uh, these are more world tournament related uh, assets for the new uh, reward kid Gohan his effects his art all that good stuff and this is of course the new free to play tech LR Goku and Gohan. We're gonna be the new uh, Super Battle Road LR for the 10 new stages we're gonna be getting on Christmas as well. Okay, so um, there's uh, you know a few assets for them, the art, background, all that stuff. That background is actually beautiful. Damn, yo, I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention like to the background itself because I was like more focused on the Goku and Gohan, right? But that is a really nice background, man. That's a beautiful landscape. Wow, okay, anyways, uh, those are the card assets. And uh, if you guys missed my video talking about the different stages, what the categories are gonna be for the 10 new stages, then feel free to go check it out. I'll put a link, you know, somewhere above my head as always, all right? 
And uh, finally, we have some assets for the Android 8, Doken Awakening. And uh, he is, you know, one of those uh, World Tournament cards that are getting a, a Doken Awakening. I mean, there might actually be a few Doken Awakenings coming. I'm not really sure if, uh, you know, what they plan to do, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so uh, from what I can tell, those are all the assets that were added to the game through this data download. Let me just quickly check his feed one more time to see if there's anything new. Uh, he says, World Tournament on the first day of the year. <laughs> I feel the same, man. I feel the same. And uh, let's see. Even anticipated World Tournament data by 10 days. In my opinion, there will be no LRG in December on the global. Yeah, so people obviously have been asking for LRG or just asking about him. You know, whether or not we're going to get him as a surprise around Christmas or New Year's. Or anything like that and I don't really think it's gonna happen guys like honestly I would love to get Jiren you know th this year like sometime in December end of December something like that but I just don't see it happening honestly what I think is gonna what's gonna happen is we're gonna get the Tanabata banner on Christmas and then obviously for New Year's we're gonna be getting the step up banner and then maybe maybe for like you know in the new year like first first week of January We'll get a you know a new legendary summon banner. It's gonna be LR Jiren. But I kind of feel like it's gonna be a Dokkan Fest instead, just like we had last year. And if I remember correctly, our New Year's banner was Biz Piccolo, right? I could be wrong. I don't know. Like my memory is not great, so <laughs> I, I I don't know for sure. But I think it was Fizz Piccolo that was our New Year's Dokkan Festival banner. You know, outside of like the Step Up banner, obviously. So yeah, this year I think it's probably gonna be. Angel Golden Frieza, maybe Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta if they want to surprise us, but I feel like Frieza is more likely, and that'd be pretty dope too, right? So Jiren's probably going to be maybe pushed to like the second half of December, or sorry, no, uh, second half of January or something like that. I'm just speculating at this point, right? So we'll, we'll see exactly what happens once we get there, but uh, I don't think Jiren is coming for uh, December this year. Okay, so those are all the assets as far as I can tell. And now let's pop over to, well, another look here at the Tanabata banner if you guys want to. These are most likely going to be the featured units. They could change things up a little bit, but uh, I don't really see or expect any big uh, modifications here. And uh, in terms of the reward kit Gohan, his leader skill is going to be AGL types, or sorry, super AGL types, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack, supreme damage, and lowers enemies attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 60%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, at the start of each turn up to 80%, and then key plus 2 when Piccolo is on the team, and attacks effective against all types when your team has Piccolo attacking on the same turn, and attack and defense plus 15% with each attack received up to 60%. So once he's fully stacked up, he's actually getting um, a solid amount of attack and defense, man. So you get 80% here, right, after four turns, if you have a Piccolo on the team. And uh, you also get up to 60% here for attacks received. So you're getting up to 200% attack and defense, unless it's calculated separately. It is, okay, so it's actually up to 284% attack and defense. Uh, once you know he's fully built up, which is pretty crazy. Obviously his stats are not great, so he's not going to be doing crazy damage or getting crazy defense. But uh, you know these world tournament reward units just keep getting better and better. Now, obviously having the Piccolo on your team is a pretty um, tough, I would say, restriction because you really won't be able to get that unless you're on Bond of Master and Disciple. Or you're running like a super AGL team with the AGL Piccolo, I guess. But otherwise, he's going to be missing, you know, a bunch of his boosts. So he's really only good with Piccolo. But if you have a Piccolo on the team, he is a pretty excellent free to play unit. And also, of course, in the future, you'll get a token awakening. So he could be much, much better too. Uh, oh, Link's Innocent, Infighter, Demonic Ways, Saiyan Warrior Race, Gaze of Respect, All in the Family. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, and Bond of Master and Disciple. So in terms of the other Dokkan Awakenings that I was talking about that come with the Gohan, I think this guy is pretty much guaranteed because he's part of the uh, data download, right? But we could also be getting Dokkan Awakenings for the Fizz Chi Chi and the AGL Grandpa Gohan because for JP's World Tournament with the Kid Gohan, these two units 
got token awakenings but i'm not really sure if that's gonna happen so i'm gonna refrain from talking about the details for now but since i think the aider will be getting that token awakening let's uh talk about his details real quick okay so leader skill str type skill plus two hp attack and defense plus 70 percent and super attack is going to be supreme damage and lowers attack and defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy and his passive is attack plus 150 percent guards all attacks for three turns after receiving an attack reduces damage received by eight percent with each attack received up to 40 percent and attack and defense plus 120 percent when there is a goku's family category ally on the team that's pretty crazy so 150 percent attack here guards uh for three turns um, up to 40% damage reduction and then an additional attack defense plus 120% with a Goku's family ally. Um, so a ton of boost right there. He gets up to 450%. 450% attack when all conditions are met. And uh, his links are Infighter, Tough as Nails, God is the Dragon Balls, uh, Incredible Adventure, Android Assault, Gentleman, and Shattering the Limits. Categories are Androids, DB Saga, and Exploding Rage. Um, I was gonna say links, no stats, pretty low, pretty low, but that's kind of the trend with these uh, world tournaments free to play units, right? So 11,538 attack or 34 attack, 10,635 HP, and 6,700 defense at rainbow status. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Let me see if there's anything else we have going on here. Uh, this is Kawhi's page. Uh, I just had it up just in case he posted something different, but I don't think there's any updates. So as you can see, the tickets in high quality though, very, very clean. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That is today's data download update, guys. Shout out to Kawhi, shout out to uh, Air Dokkan, of course, for the assets. And uh, look forward to a world tournament on the first day of the year, guys. And um, of course, the Tanabata banner with the tickets. If you guys have been playing since day one, then the Extreme Sea Awakening medals for your thousand day Spirit Bomb Goku. And uh, for everybody else, if you were able to farm the medals for the Prime Battle Goku, then he is getting his Extreme Sea Awakening in a couple days from now. Okay, so uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. and. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.